Hi, this is Alan Gleason for Crossfader. In this video, we're going to be exploring live packs in Ableton. Live packs are the sound library you use within Ableton. They're an amazing resource of synth patches, drum sounds, samples of all sorts and genre types. In this video, we will look at how to install them and then access the content and import them into a track. So when you first install Ableton, the sound library that it comes with is fairly limited, but you can quickly expand on that by installing additional live packs. To access the live packs, you go into your pack section here in the browser and I've got a lot of packs installed, but when you scroll down to the bottom, you'll see this available packs here. And it will show you any packs that are part of the version of Ableton that you have. So I have Ableton Live Suite. So any packs that I haven't already downloaded that are part of Suite will be listed here. The other place to access these same live packs and additional packs is on Ableton's website. So when you're on Ableton.com, if you go into the packs section, it will bring you to an area where you can download additional packs. So there's a huge array of sounds to choose from here. Obviously not all of them are for free, some of them you have to pay for, but there's a huge amount of content available for free. So I can browse by sounds. So these are more like synth patches and samples, Max for live devices, software instruments, and I can also specify to browse by free live packs. Let's put this back to all. And over on the right hand side here, we can browse by genre or instrument. So say if I was specifically looking for something like, you know, drums or guitar or loops, I can put them into the filter. So if I was looking for drums, scroll down here and maybe look for something that I haven't already installed. Okay, so I haven't got beat tools installed. So we'll download this and then we'll have a look at installing it and then using it in a session. So I've downloaded beat tools and I have the file here on my desktop. It's an ALP file, Ableton Live Pack similar to something like a zip file and has all the content contained within it. So the quickest way to install this is actually just to double click on it. And depending on the size of the pack that you're installing, it will take an amount of time to complete its installation. So once it's finished installing, it will highlight that location in your packs. And it will also give you a description about what the pack is itself. So depending on the pack that you've installed within the pack itself, there'll be a number of subfolders containing samples, loops, clips, and so on, depending on the pack that you've installed. So this one here, I could jump right in, go into my drums and then drag this kit over onto my drums track. And immediately I've got some sounds here to work with. Other types of kits you might install would be something like say Max for Live devices. So the Max for Live essentials or the granulator or something like that. Because there's a lot of devices contained within here, to get the information about the live pack after it's been installed, you just right click on the actual pack itself and click on show default lesson. And on the right hand side here now, you've got information displayed about what's contained within the pack. And we've got sort of hyperlinks that will link into the individual instruments that are contained within there to give an overview of what they're about. So that's very useful when you're using a pack that contains lots of information. This can be useful also after you've installed a lot of packs, sometimes you can forget what a particular one contains. So you can just select it, click show default lesson, and I'll give you an overview of what's contained within that particular live pack. So if you're happy that you want to use it, you can go in there, see what's within it. This one has got some drum sounds, it's got some effects racks. So if I wanted to use some distortion effects on my drums, I can just drop that in there. Let's close down this. We can see the effect rack that we're after bringing in. Other types of clips, we've got MIDI clips. If I wanted to use that, I can just drag that over there onto a blank space and then that's in my session and I can start building up my track from that. So live packs are provided by Ableton and also by third party providers and they vastly expand the sound library that they have to work with. Particularly if you're working in electronic music genres, there's a vast array of sounds to fit the style that you're working on. So if you haven't already, head over to ableton.com and start downloading some amazing sounds to incorporate into your session. This has been Alan Gleason for Crossfader. Please like and subscribe to stay updated on future videos.